Manatee County has decided to use taxpayer money to fix some sinkholes in a Bradenton shopping plaza. Officials say these depressions formed after the property owner there failed to repair underground pipes. News Channel 8's John Rogers is joining us now live. He is in Bradenton with the update on this. So, so the owner of the property is not going to have to pay for this. Taxpayers, what gives? Yeah, for now, but the owner will pay back, we're told. Let me show you what's causing this problem, Keith. Over here is this creek that's part of this very elaborate, important stormwater system underground here. These 50-year-old pipes are failing. That's why there's a sinkhole there and a sinkhole over here. And even though this repair work will help a little bit, there's still a threat of more sinkholes out here. Were these all parking spaces in the past? Um, the parking spaces are just beyond that. Dion Sorrells has yeah. owned Plato's Closet here at Cortez Plaza East for 12 years. Business was good until two years ago. Um, it started in one spot and it slowly migrated to two or three other spots. Sinkholes have formed because of broken stormwater pipes. Manatee County says the pipe system dates back to the 50s. They're corroded from rust and the leaking water caused these holes. Officials say the property owner, Bradenton Associates LLC, is responsible for repairs. But despite daily fines, nothing has been done. People see the fences from the road and they think that we're closed or we're no longer in business, um, which is not the case. We are very much up and running. So now the county is using taxpayer money to fix this mess. For the next month, crews will be doing repairs. There's not much that we can do right now from the aspect that it is private property and we are simply trying to restore flow at the moment. County officials say if Bradenton Associates does not replace these antiquated pipes, more sinkholes could possibly form in the parking lot. Sarles has had enough. Do you plan to stay here? We don't. We're actually looking at relocating, um, hopefully by the end of the year. This project will cost roughly $200,000 in taxpayer money. The property owner will be billed, and that owner has still not responded to any of our interview requests. Wow, it sounds like uh, that could be a challenge getting the money back, though, if he's not even responding to the fees and the fines and so forth. So we'll stay on it. Thank you, John Rogers, reporting live.